It's been a hard day's night And I've been working like a dog It's been a hard day's night I should be sleeping like a log Something like that, right? What is that chord? G7 sus4, let's show it to you right now so you can play it. So here we go. If we start with a G chord, regular G chord, like that, what I do is I like, to, as you know, I like to mute my A string with this finger. But if I'm doing a G7, I switch my fingers around. I put my ring finger on the third fret E string. I mute my A string. D string is open. G string is open. B string is open. First fret E string. So that's my G7. Now here's the uh, Hard Day's Night chord. What we do is we put our finger, we do a little bar, on the 1st fret B string, 1st fret E string, just bar it across, take your 3rd finger, 3rd fret E string, and you have, and that's the chord. It gives really good tension to that. Uh, it's been a hard day's night. Now you need that. You don't want that note to be on because those two notes will clash really bad. It'd be the B note there and the C note here. No, 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 no. We don't want any B note to be in that chord. Just like that. And that's it. I'm, this is just hanging out. It's not really doing anything. So you go, you hold that. It's been a hard day's night. G, C, G. Now I guess you could do it like this. It's been a hard day's night. If you want to, you could do your G chord like that and then C like this. I really like, it's more comfortable for me to go like this. And it's not too hard to flip back and forth. But you could do this. Anyway, that's... That's the whole chord, G7 sus4. There you go. Thanks for being here. Thanks for learning chords with me. We'll talk to you later. Got a Patreon page. Go check it out.